Um, yeah, see, as as in the last video, the force is not with you. And the force it definitely isn't with me because uh, I must have hit myself with a. That must be my uh, my uh, self hypnosis. Uh, forget what I'm talking about. Uh, position there. Uh, because the forces are not with you. In all actuality, the forces are uh, against you. Because I mean, if you wanna say the force, like look, it's like some people say that's the craft, which is AKA witchcraft, uh, which which has different. It has different meanings. You could, you know, you could say the demons or like witchcraft spells, incantations. It also could be psychology, or I heard it called spycology or spycologists. Uh, these guys who give you these these drugs because listen, li really, literally, you can think of the witch and at the at the cauldron mixing M Newt and Batwing and Bat Shizzle, uh, <laughs> you know, a little baby uh, up in there. But, uh, and it's also, uh, let me think, you know, uh, it's also like, like, uh, hypnosis and word, uh, being able to make someone angry or being able to make someone sad or being able to influence people like at a higher level or make yourself appear invisible or, uh, make a person tired. I mean, these are different, there's what you could talk a lot of this. Like that, and you can actually draw someone down. And uh, some people do it because they know what they're doing. Other people don't realize they're doing it because maybe someone did it to them for a while, and they just kind of uh, inherited it. And it is kind of like a force. Okay, here's another thing: the art of war. It's called with all subtlety is how you use the art of war, and who is the most subtle? Like on this last video, I was saying, the devil is humble in his approach. Which, which which means in the beginning it's like if you if you appeared to be ferocious in the beginning people would obviously avoid you so in order to do that you have to appear to be weak or innocent or even look look beautiful to draw them in but that's because really when they get up close you turn into the you, you get bit uh, consumed by the dragon the the god of forces basically uh, the prince of the power of the air. Uh, you know, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, the God of forces, basically. And then you can look into your masons with the G and the compass and the square. That's basically, that's forces because architects deal with redistributing weight and having these, these, these different equations that they need to put, hoist their buildings. So that's part of it. But then that, it also in a spiritual metaphysical sense that breeds, that, branches off into academia where people talk about all things like like geometry and uh, uh, physics uh, so because this is all really that is forces all subtlety is the is the art of war and then Satan was the most subtle beast of the field and that really means it, it means very tricky uh, uh, person that speaks it's almost like a person who like a lawyer who makes contracts. Or a person who is trying to convince you to do something, and and it's like it's uh, it means being very crafty that way. It's kind of like to lie in wait is different. Like all right, if if you catch some dude banging your wife and you hit him in the head with a club and he, and he dies, it's not really a murder. I mean, it is a murder, but or it's killing at least for sure. But look, in some. And some understandings that people would understand that that's not a murderer there, you know. But uh, if you if you know someone's coming home from work and they got to walk through the woods, let's say, and you and three dudes wait there, like hidden behind trees, and then you all jump out right when the dude's walking by and he's distracted, that's uh, yeah, that's very jive. But that's that's basically what the art of war boils down to is just learning how to lie and wait for people. And that is called, the art of war means skills in using forces. So you could think, uh, who who inspired Sun Tzu to write the art of war? Well, it is obviously he had help from the devil himself. Because he, he even, he, it, look, you got to fall on him like a lightning bolt, it says. So, I mean, it's, it's very cutthroat at, in the end. But it does also kind of advise against itself, which is... That's it means it can't be totally inspired of the devil, or it would have never said that. It would have been totally 
it'd have been overly reckless, but I, I don't know, man. I just know there's influence there. So anyone that's that smart uh, was influenced. It wasn't the force. You know what I'm saying? It was the devil. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, listen, if you ain't got the Holy Spirit power like Jesus walking on water and, uh, uh, you know, casting out demons and healing people and turning, like, I mean, uh, you know, doing uh, good good works in the hood. You know, but if you're out there force choking people and uh, like causing people's cars to wreck, and uh, you know, uh, and uh, you know the ladies to do things they shouldn't, you know, that's basically you know that's got to be of the devil, <laughs> and it is. The, it's also a form of those using those forces. This is part of the knowledge of good and evil. It's kind of almost like I kind of see it as like, all right, the forces even got it in there. It's like it's so Kabbalah, Kabbalah up. Uh, that it ain't even fun. I mean, you can mirror it up, the whole Jedi Force thing. You can mirror it up right there, and it it, it, it fits in there with the good and the bad, and they got the, the one tree, and then you flip the tree, and uh, they both have a double meaning. Would you, doesn't everything out here, especially when it comes to dealing with these guys, man, because uh, they like to play the Higlinian dialectic, and... It's a form of, of, of supreme willy lynchery is what I call it. Supreme willy lynchery. Like all the way from the top to the bottom, they got us uh, in this crab in a bucket, uh, this house, Negro field, Negro, neo-feudal, technocratic, uh, 1984, brave new, uh, revamped and rebooted and uh, ooted and zooted and polluted. Uh that's that's what's going on. That's what that's the end result of your of your force. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, some people say it's witchcraft. I, I could also agree that that fits uh, in some big time because of the dark side of the force. That's how you could apply it. And then you could say like you know just your your light worker type. But really, you know, you're you're worshiping these these Nordic uh, Draco uh, dog star serious beings that. Uh, you know, uh, blue-eyed, blonde. That's the same thing that the, that the Nazis were following. So, I mean, either way you go, you go to the dark side, the the hardcore. Like, you got your average, what is it, uh, your pagans who just believe in earth and, and stuff, and, and spirits, earth spirits, but it's not necessarily sinister or dark or evil. They call it white magic, but it's still, they're worshiping Pan, the, the, the satyr uh, flute playing thing with horns. Basically, that's the, that's the, uh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's crazy, uh, so, it, once again, spirits, uh, and, uh, your, your hardcore, dark, uh, witchcrafters who, who flip the star and worship the goat and Satan straight out, you know what I'm saying, but all these other people, I mean, look, your pan worshippers, you know, you know, your pagans, basically, uh, or even if they worship the sun, the angel of the bottomless pit is called Apollyon, you know. Uh, and the dragon is uh, definitely it's it's a, it's it's a sun symbol. It's like the sun dragon. It means to be a lineage of royalty, like basically of the sky beings to Apollo and them, the sky beings that came down. It's it it's for some reason it's a dragon, a flying serpent, a cockatrice. A uh, fiery flying serpent. Yeah, uh, and China's got that in their stuff. And then once again, they had a lot of, uh, of, uh, they they had tyrants and they had de democratic uh, points in time. They had they had they had it all going all kinds of different ways. But anytime you got imperialistic people, you're gonna have conspiracies, and you're gonna have secret society networks trying to connive and maintain power by any means. Because it's just, uh, it goes Machiavelli uh, at some point. If you dedicate your life to the God of Forces, you're going to go Machiavellian. And the ends will justify the means. And uh, bad things will happen to good people. <laughs> and there will be much suffering. Basically, uh, so, no, the Force, I hope the Force isn't with you. And you got to know this, that the demons, the powers and principalities, I think it's in a... The, the the jinns, the archons, the cosmocrators, the demons, the fallen angels, the watchers. Uh, these things are out there. 
and they are, do influence the game for sure. I mean, uh, and it, there's invisible. They're seeing invisible entities in the sky now. I mean, uh, there's going to be lying signs and false miracles, and you can also look in. Exodus, when Moses battled with the magicians and, and the Chaldeans, the magicians of Nebuchadnezzar's day, they couldn't, Joseph and Daniel, and uh, no, hey, all the prophets, Jesus, they have they all battled with these type of guys, man, they, these uh, trickster guys, or it's even like, when Paul says, he, he's like, I, I perceive you men of, I think it was Athens, I could be wrong, but he says, I perceive you men of, of Athens be superstitious. Because I stand here at this altar that says, to the unknown God. But he's like, but us men here, we can tell you who the, who God is. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, but through the traditions, people will get hung up on this these altars to these unknown gods. The God of forces, a.k.a. Uh, or the force, or the universe, or heaven. Because listen, if you worship the creation over the creator... And it says rebellion is that of witchcraft. I mean, listen, but rebellion, rebellion to tyrants and obedience to God is good. But if you're just uh, obedient to uh, tyr tyrants, well, you're part of the of the rebellion in a way, the rebellion against God in a way. And, and listen, and, and you're trying to by force. It's you know, if you're living by the sword, you want to live by the sword, you want to take it, you want to take your future, you want to forge out your your golden-haired Aryan fifth age of uh New Atlantis Aquarius uh or whatnot, whatever you guys believe, your Lucius Trust uh uh theosophic uh, uh double speech uh Machiavellian Quacky of Elian, uh, Shiznit, you know, I, I mean, I've, I've, uh, seen a lot of this stuff, uh, and, you know, there, there is, there is little things, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, the Bible says all these things happen, so, I mean, all these, these dark arts, the dark arts, that, that is your God of forces, if you're not dealing with God, then you gotta be then by dealing with the prince of the power of the air, or one of his minions, or his kingdom, because it's a kingdom. A kingdom means there's a king, there's an army, there's peasants and slaves and serfs and property, and uh, so they, they, they really are, like the, they, they got gremlins and imps and ghosts and goblins and demons and sirens and succubuses and uh, and it's like the Matrix, that these pe things can jump in and out of people like the, like the agents on the Matrix, in, in some sense. And then they also got uh, the, 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 the powers of the Earth. They really hate us. They want to kill us. They don't care about us. They, they, they want to control us. They want to, through their, their, look, technology and magic are also synonymous. They're the same thing. Back in the day, uh, before... Uh, modern times when it was very esoteric, which means only a few dudes had the money, the knowledge, and the means to even make anything that was uh, technological. But there was an advance of it at one point because these guys left diagrams and documents and they perfected over time, made it easier and easier to reproduce these more uh, advanced things. Uh, the technology, it goes hand in hand also with magicianry and witchcraft and alchemy and wizardry and uh uh so you know they they hypnotize us through the TVs they got all the this this Wi-Fi frequency like a witch I cast a spell on you from over here I caused some force to hurt you over there and so I mean look there's a witch going like this with the wand or there's a uh, Wi-Fi box going invisibly going zzz, constantly frying you with this death force energy in a sense death force energy uh, so the force is not with you it is against you but if you come you learn God turn to him with all your heart and all your might I, he'll forgive you and heal your land that's what it says in the Bible so hey uh, uh, yeah turn from the force you know what I'm saying? And uh, turn back to God, man. And realize, if there is such a thing as the force, God's the, the true master of it. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's not. The God of forces is definitely the devil. 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you better uh, peep game. 